Hey guys, good evening. Um, today I want to continue working on this application that we're working on and I want to add more functionality. Um, for example, let's say you had a joke here and you wanted to upvote it or give it a thumbs up, a like, and you want to track popularity of those jokes. Um, I want to eventually have that functionality problem is we don't currently have any type of joke sharing or viewing so we need to do two things one we need some form of a dashboard see right now our index isn't even there we don't have any type of a here's all our jokes and the second thing we don't have is we don't have um, users that can come in and see your joke in any way so yeah if somebody you know can like their own uh, it's one thing, but it doesn't make sense to like your own popularity or, or any of that. So what I want to do is first uh, build some type of a, um, a dashboard with all the jokes, and then we can sort them by, you know, highest in popularity, for example, or highest in rating. And then number two, we need some kind of a dashboard where, not a dashboard, sorry, like a page, a home page where all the jokes are just there, right? Um, did I just say the same thing? I might have said the same thing. Also, we need to search. So we need to be able to find some funny jokes and or maybe by genre. Um, so let's start with first showing jokes or I guess these, these would be records that we don't yet um, or that um, that we don't display. We need to show them somewhere and th that aren't yours. Right, so let's say a random user just comes to your website, boom, and he sees a bunch of jokes. Right, so that's that. That would be the ideal. Um, our current theme, which is SB, I think was SB two. Uh, uh, start bootstrap two, I think is what it's called. This is our this is our current theme. <clears throat> it doesn't really have a uh, home page type design so there is like a login and register but there isn't really like some of the some other themes have much more um, in in this where they have some example pages for us so we might have to use some of these example pages or might have to make up our own might not be bad to just kind of show this too let's see Let's try components, buttons. We don't really even have a thumbs up button. So this theme, the theme is kind of weak. Um, although, you know what we can do also is we could show jokes internally. Utilities, borders, animations, other hmm, charts, pages, tables. So right now what I'm doing is just looking for a suitable uh, page of it, of the template that we have so that we can leverage it. Uh, and right now it doesn't quite look like we have much here that we can leverage. Anyway, so let's just do it without, um, let's just do it the same way. I, I think it's perfectly fine. Uh, right now, this is my dashboard. Let's just do welcome here and maybe kill a few other pages. I think a, a login and registration page is okay too. Um, so that anybody coming to our site externally sees something like this, except there'll just be a list of jokes here that you can thumbs up. So maybe we can leverage the login page and we can just remove some, some key items. So well, I, we could do that. Let's do that for now and then we'll swap it out if we like something else better uh, since we don't have um, since we don't have more of a web a public facing site this is this is logged in you can only see this when you're authenticated since we don't have a public facing site we'll have to leverage one that is public facing which is the login register and forgot my password um, so we can use one of those two so let's start with that. So back in our code editor, uh, I use 
a PHP storm. In the left right here, uh, side pane, we'll go to views and layouts and inside of views we'll right click new file and here will be actually we kind of have a welcome page which is this one right here I wonder if we can leverage the welcome page because it's really what I'm talking about um, let's go to routes and see where welcome is going welcome is going to looks like it's going to home controller index right and and then no sorry yeah home controller index so let's go to app HTTP controllers home controller and index and you can see index is actually going to home instead of welcome with jokes but it's pulling user jokes which is perfectly fine um, let's go back to I guess we don't need all the other ones close others let's go back to our um, route web route and you can see here home is also here home goes to the next so there's home and forward slash home goes to the exact same thing so we don't quite need to do that this is fine the way it is but here we'll do uh, we'll build a new function called public actually since this is the home controller we technically hey we can still leverage it it's okay public function uh, we'll say welcome and in here we can return turn view welcome and when users go to forward slash which is our, our our page we'll just do welcome just like that so basically when people go to forward slash they go to the home controller and they trigger this method called welcome uh, and then this is the uh, name that it comes with which is up here so boom and now it shows this so my I have, I have, I have concerns about this theme or this default layout so let's actually apply to it our auth theme so login actually looks pretty good I'm gonna do theme login for welcome and I could actually save the original welcome but I don't really need it so or do I need it Maybe I need it, maybe I don't. Doesn't matter. We'll, we'll get it back if we need it. Grab section here. And section. And then in the content we'll say, hi, jokes, go here. All right, fresh. Jokes over here. Much better, right? So now, um, don't necessarily need this picture here um, so I can grab this concept uh, see here where it says row nested row within the card body image so it looks like our theme uh, lo our, our actual um, login theme we're putting content inside of this BG image uh, instead, I kind of wanted it out here, so we might have to copy this theme layout, which is okay. Copy this theme layout. We'll make another one that's specifically for the welcome layout. Um, this is this would be public layout.blade.php, and then and then move the welcome outside of. Actually, everything's kind of okay. Or is it okay? We'll have to play with it here a little bit. So I don't need this one anymore. And here we'll use public layout, just like that. Nothing really should change. Um, the only thing I want to do is basically give us all 12 here. We don't need this guy on the left. And that's the only real change. Here it could be 12, P5. I don't actually know what P5 is. We'll have to look at the theme to see what that's about. But here we go. So now we can just show jokes, right? Um, maybe padding five. 
regardless, um, I think we're okay here for now. We'll add a title there as well. So now we're this is going to be our homepage, but there's no way to log in here right now. So we'll need to add a login button. This is what our current website looks like. So let's throw down some some HTML here uh, in the content. Welcome. Here we can throw some stuff now. So let's see how well does this theme support um, our card class. Save. Yeah, so it looks like it supports it like it's supposed to. Um, so I'll jump over here and look at some of these cards. One that maybe we can use. Let's say we like this one. Uh, inspect. Hold down. This is a good one. And looks like this entire card's good. Edit HTML. Grab this whole card. Come down. Paste it just like that. So this would be an entire example card pasted. So I'll jump back over here. You see kind of how it looks. And it looks. It looks fine. I think it's good. It's full screen. A bunch of them will show up like that below each other, and you'll just see a bunch of jokes. Maybe we'll have some pagination at the bottom. Does this theme offer pagination? Pagination just means the ability to, to um, page through your results. So if you have a lot of results, you can page through them. Unless they don't really kind of offer pagination. I think Bootstrap does, so get Bootstrap CSS, no pagination. There we go. So Bootstrap offers uh, paging through or pagination. So we'll paste that at the bottom right here. Save, jump over. So now we have pagination and then we have jokes. And then maybe we need some kind of a search as well. Don't need high jokes here. It would be nice to set up a search actually. Let's do that. Class, row. And then maybe we'll do a input type text class. Form control. Okay. And then maybe a placeholder. Like that. And then it probably needs to add some spacing below this. H3. Let's call this. It's like Welcome. And then let's add some spacing here. I'll add a horizontal rule. Again, all I'm doing is just throwing it together. This is nowhere near what the site should look like, but I need something right now for the public facing. And even these aren't fully represented properly. Um, most likely because of the way this looks. This one looks much better, I think. But these are, yeah. The the styling here isn't isn't working right. But we can add button styling. I think our our class does have some buttons right here, like circles and stuff. BTN circle, for example. Like, this is not too bad. So we could potentially add. Classes like, let's say for example, here. I just wondering what this looks like. Just checking here. We still might need BTN though. And we still need that apply BTN, BTN circle, and then maybe that's it. Oh, we need probably a color still. And then BTN is set. No, default. Like 
It's it's not bad, but it's not definitely not good. We'll fix that here in a second. We got search. We, we added a, a horizontal rule here. Maybe we need to add it here because I still don't see it. Maybe it's not enough room. There it is. So there you go. You got a search, horizontal rule, and a bunch of jokes, and you can flip through them. Um, our design here doesn't quite look good, which is normal. Our theme didn't come with it, so we'll have to come up with a different one. Fresh. So that's not too bad. Kind of looks good. I, it kind of yeah, reminds me of like a little retro. I don't mind it too much. So here it is: a Bootstrap pagination, Bootstrap card with our theme, it's a, a standard Bootstrap form for searching, a welcome page. Uh, the only thing we're missing is a is a login logout page. So let's add that lo links login logout links here. Um, actually, I wish I didn't erase the original welcome now because I could have could have used that, but it doesn't matter. So here we can say a um, href. We'll do login like that. And then float right, I guess. There you go. Uh, but if you see, it's kind of clashing with our input field here. That's because we're in the same area. We can actually um, go out of here, go back to the public layout so that we can leverage login. And log out for every for for the for the entire for the entire thing. So we'll come over here like that. So now now see how it's moved up here outside of here. So probably not a good idea to put it there. Let's put it here. And there you go. Maybe it would have been better within the row. Let's try this. Actually, it might be better even deeper in. That's even worse. And I think maybe this might be better actually in this spot. That's not bad. So now we have log login. Um, we have login. We have log out. The, the only thing I don't quite like the way that um, the logic with login log out uh, is here because you're just assuming that they're not logged in. Um, but if you look at our, our home, um, it was a home controller or it was app, yeah, app.blade, there is logic here that does a better job of, of identifying someone that's a guest or that if they're not a guest. So you can do at guest and then if they're at register versus if they're not. So this is, this is much better, um, but we could also add the same logic. To ours as well. It's like probably something like this. There was actually quite a bit of stuff in there that we didn't quite need. Also, it actually shows you who, who the person is if they're logged in already. Um, which is kind of nice. I really kind of um, regret erasing welcome. I don't remember what the whole thing was there, but let's let's put it back. Let's let's well, let's not put it back. We can just fix this. We don't need them to log out. We just need them to say go to home. So if they're a guest, then ask them to log in. Right. So sounds pretty pretty standard there. Sorry, sometimes I have to think through what I'm, what I'm trying to do. Now, if they're registering, which they're not because we're on the home page, and then otherwise, if they're not a guest, all right, then we have to show their name, which is perfectly fine too. Let's show their name and show their name and show their name like that. Which we don't need a carrot here.
we probably don't even need to show their name. I guess we could show their name. Um, I was thinking maybe it would be better just to say go to the home page and from there. Either way, we'll just do href home and then if they want to log in, we'll do href whoa equals we'll say login. Simple, right? Let me specify that. Login is still login. Oh, we already have that. There you go. Perfect. So simple logic there. Could have probably just written that. So it shows their name if they're logged in. So here we'll say um, account like this. Here I'd like to add a span. Maybe even a uh, span's fine. And place these inside the span. And then class float right. And then margin right. Is it margin five? I don't know. Let's see what this looks like. There's all these classes that I'm not quite aware of, but there you go. Not too bad. Actually, this is in a bad spot. I don't quite like it there. Maybe it's because of the margin five. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly what it is. So here, I'm just gonna add a small padding. Oh, was there already padding? I think it was like a p dash. Let's add pad five. Padding five. Wow, that padding really takes on its own design here. I'll just do this style padding. Right, we'll do twenty pixels. We'll go in and I'll show you how to add this here, probably in the next episode when we start working on um, CSS. But there you go. Account Bob takes you to home. Clicking on jokes should take you back, but right now jokes uh, or the actual icon takes you to index.html. If we go to app blade and find that right here, navbar laravel here, and find where it says index.html. Am I in the wrong spot? Oh, theme, yeah. Here we go. I actually kind of like the way that the um, the app controller. Oh, they just want the URL. Let's do that. Let's do a proper Laravel right there. We'll say URL there. App name v1 dashboard URL there. Dashboard. No, dashboard's going to be home like that. So while we're here, let's look here back. So let's save this. Fresh. So jokes is great. It goes to the right location. Clicking on this brings us here. Logging out will take us out. Then we have dashboard, which takes us to the home page. And now we have interface, we have add-ons, we have tables, then we have this little guy that closes, opens and closes everything. So I don't think I need um, everything after add-ons. I don't even know if I need interface. Um, maybe I can call this tools. And here I could say, I don't even know if I need anything specifically right now here. So we can preserve some of this functionality. But after add-ons, I don't think I need anything there. So let's scroll down here, end of sidebar. We're going to have a very small sidebar. Nothing fancy here. Utilities. That's what I, think. I don't think I have any utilities. Maybe we can leave utilities and remove components. Interface. My account, maybe. I'm not quite sure yet. So there you go. Kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Um, these are obviously not right. Anyways, so we're back here. 
uh, search, we got a list of jokes. So let's actually populate this with jokes that are uh, not unique to the account user. They're everybody's jokes. Okay, so on or in your home controller where, where we populate the welcome screen, let's give them 10, let's give them about 25 jokes. So here we'll, we'll add on some jokes here as well, similar to how we added on jokes to the home controller uh, and the home view. Well, there we go. And then we just need to do a query. So now jokes equals, uh, and instead of pulling um, jokes from auth user like we did last time, we don't care if the user is authenticated. We just will need a list of jokes. Um, and we just need to get 10 jokes. So maybe 10 most recent jokes. So we, at, the, at that point, you get jokes. You can get um, order by ID descending. And then take you know, 20. And then we'll say get. So now we pulled all jokes ordered by ID descending. So that's the late, latest ones. And, and then take only 20. Actually, we don't need to do 20. We will say paginate 20. Let's uh, duplicate this record. Duplicate record. Duplicate record. All right, so we'll do one pag pag pagination. And you can see it created for you already automatically. UL pagination, role navigation, and created all that for you. And it even has the uh, pages for you set up like that. I'll let you let that process for a second. So when you say paginate, it creates the links for you automatically and creates those pages. So let's actually jump over to our um, welcome page, wherever that went, there it is. And instead of dumping our nav URL this way, we can When you use a double um, pound here, double exclamation point, it'll dump the HTML along with it. So, and here we'll say jokes links. Here we'll do at for each as joke. And and for each let's take a look here in our database joke title joke content so we'll do joke Do joke content. Why are you doing all this? That's fine. Okay, there we go. So for each joke has its own 12 um, columns and then the pagination at the bottom. So the only thing is, I actually have more than one joke. If you look here, I have uh, one, two, three, four, I have five jokes. Right, so why is only one showing? Well, you can go to page two and you can see the next one. So right now it's kind of difficult to tell, but if we actually change the title of this, one, two, three, four, five, and then you can tell a little easier. So joke one, joke two, joke three, joke four, Five, so you see, it actually creates. So, 
Laravel already created pagination for me automatically. It makes life much easier. So no matter what I search for or whatever, the results just kind of stay the same like that. Uh, it does, does it all dynamically. Now let's say I adjusted this instead of paginate 1, I want to paginate 2. Well, you should see a decrease in size here. And, well, there's another little minor issue here too is we're on page 4 and we don't have page 4. So there we go. So now we have two items per page like that. So now let's adjust this to what our, our actual desired amount, which I wanted 25 jokes. And you should only you shouldn't even really see you should only see one page um, for this one. So there you go. Scrolling down, you see there's nothing there anymore. But as soon as um, we hit 25 or a limit, it'll switch over. Maybe 25 is too much. Let's give it um, let's give it a nice weird number 11. I like weird numbers. There you go. And the last little bit I want to do is I want to be able to search for a specific joke. Um, so let's, in this area where we search, we'll add um, a search term up here. And then it'll default to page one. And um, you can do this with uh, JavaScript or we can do this with. PHP. I think what I'll do is I'll do this with, with JavaScript to show you guys how uh, how simple it is to do it. So down here on your home page where we loop through and, and display um, display all the jokes, we need to identify and see if, if we're actually you know, linking our custom JavaScript to it. So let's go over to our public JS custom file and since this is public and not in, and not internal um, or it, then we need to create a separate file it's going to be um, for the web for you know searching and random things so we'll say custom uh, public dot js and then in the welcome page Actually, we don't need to do it in the welcome page. We can do it on the public layout page. We'll just add one more here. One more JavaScript file. This is going to be JS, and this is going to be custom public. Oops. Dot JS, and then custom public. We'll, we can do a little test run. Alert hi just to make sure that we've got everything we need. Boom, so JavaScript is working. So now we need to tag this input field with an ID. We'll say ID, uh, search jokes, like that. And then, oops, we'll say We'll start with jQuery function, jQuery callback function, and we'll say anything that we'll say on key up. No, not key up. We'll do on change. Change is all right. Yeah, let's try change. On change function function. Var um, search equals this dot value. Then we'll say this dot val equals nothing. Maybe, maybe I guess it doesn't really matter because we'll be going away. href. So we'll do window dot location dot href equals. And then we'll say this same page question mark search equals plus search and this really won't do anything right now so if you refresh this and actually search for something say like Vlad enter all I did is just put it up there 
because we're not actually grabbing it and doing anything with it at this moment. So if I actually did search for, I think it was like KK, see it doesn't do anything at this time. But if you come down to your home controller and you pick up the search term, so we'll say like search, should we do it like this? Uh, I think I have a better idea. We'll do search like this equals false. And then, yeah, instead of doing like this, we'll do search slash like this. It's kind of a nicer way of doing it. So here, we'll refresh, so we'll say Okay, okay, enter, and instead it'll, it'll look like it's doing a brand new, um, brand new URL like this. And we'll pick it up using a route. So we have home, so right here, search forward slash. And this is going to be our search term, like that. And it's going to be the same welcome controller, and everything's going to be OK. We'll just make sure that uh, we specify if somebody goes to this.search.search term, um, or somebody uh, this, so it'll go home page or slash search slash whatever their term is, it'll go to our home controller, same one, except it'll pass a search term in there like that. So let's make sure everything's good here. And look, it's exactly the same. We're searching, but it's um, it's got ah, well. Now we're kind of taking the user to a new page. It looks like to them. So maybe 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 I kind of liked it the way it was before. Let's go back. Let's undo this. And the reason being is I don't know if I like the idea of them going to a new page. I think we should just keep it the way that it is like that. Um, so on custom public, I think I'll just keep it the way it is here. Equals search equals. So so then how do you pick up um, the variables that the user selected? You can use an input. An input. Um, you can actually. Get i equals. Or you can just say get like that, and then you can get the search equals this search. And you can before you do that, you can say if this set get um, search, then it's not as clean uh, as I was wanting to do it, but at least this it will still cause less confusion like that. So basically get the input um, if you if search exists then grab it and use it otherwise it's false. Um, and we'll do the search in here. So we'll keep paginating here um, and we can close this off. Then we can say jokes uh, where title, we'll say joke title, like percent, percent. Search term. There you go. So now uh, this is a different way of doing the query. Um, basically, I wanted to do it like this, so I could say if search. In fact, I could probably even do it like this much cleaner. It's okay. So if search, then do the search query, otherwise show everything. And then here we can also do or where joke content like. 
this. So now we've added our search inside our welcome page. Um, we're sorting by most recent. Well, at this point, you don't need to sort by most recent, right? I guess you can order by most recent regardless. Um, we'll have to do a separate um, we'll have to do a separate filter by or, so, so that we can specify what we're ordering by. But I think this is um, this is quite what we need. Uh, take a screenshot of this or if that's accurate, let's test it here really fast. Let's go back to our search, refresh. And now let's search for Vlad, enter, and all of a sudden we have no results. K entered, we have a bunch of results. JK, um, JK5 enter, and we only have one result. Let's say J enter, and we have five results. So search is connected. Now, what if we did um, paginate one again? How would that interact with search? So we have search J up here, we have more, click it and it loses the search value but it drops us to page two. So that's a concern, right? So our search is uh, search and page is using two different um, they're, they're both using, they're both fighting for this URL um, up here. So if you were to search for something and actually page through it, it would fail. Um, so we need to do a custom URL. And this is what you saw here where it had custom URLs. There's like a custom, yeah, there we go. So you can say with path search. So um, let's actually do that here in a second. So if, if search is there, um, we can do with path. And here will be not how I don't know if it would be a path. So it'd be this question mark this search equals search. Let's do J. I think with path comes later after we do paginate. I think we'll do it like this. There we go. So we have search J. So we'll do KK, go, search KK. Now we go page two, and it still has search KK. and it still has page so we're able to add it the only thing is this is this right here is broken um, everything's good there page two there is perfect uh, we just just have this equal there that just doesn't need to be there so oh, it's most likely because I spelled that wrong so there you go so this but at, we also need we can only really do this if there is a search right we don't use it if there isn't a search there you go so let's go through this welcome function uh, so if there's any inputs uh, in the get in the address bar URL, put that into the get variable. Inside the get variable, if there's a search um, URI or if there's a search um, argument or attribute, then pull it into search. Otherwise, search equals false, which I think I can even do search equals false by default. And erase this. There we go. Much cleaner. Um, and then I'll start my jokes. Um, model. I'll start populating it. First I'll get jokes ordered by ID descending. Then if there is a search I'll limit that filter by uh, the job title like search. And then I'll limit it by content. Then I'll uh, paginate all that by one. I'll adjust the path so to include search equals whatever my search because I want to be able to paginate, but also preserve my paths. In the future, I'll add more with paths. For example, if we plan to filter by descending order or ascending order, we'll need to add that in the future as well. Then I'll return it down below, refresh. You should see now nothing on page two. Page one, though, 
we got stuff on page one. So KK, enter, that gives us KK. Everything is good. So that's it. Our search engine and our filtering works. Now let's uh, create some fake jokes. I want to see like you know a couple of thousand jokes in here. Larval has oh sorry, there's a bug in here. Larval has um, inspiration in quotes. Um, I think it was, uh, and we can actually leverage it. So inspiration. I think they have a inspiration command that just lets you create random. Uh, inspiration quotes and we can create maybe not I thought they had that what is it Marvel inspiration quotes I think that's inspiring I think string quote Let me try this here. Inspiring quote. There we go. So here's an inspiring quote. We'll say um, DD quote. So Laurel out of the box has the ability to create like random quotes. I know this is this is really weird, right? I don't, why is it even in here? But it's really cool because I, let's say I want to throw a bunch of a couple of thousand quotes to a database, I can do it. Um, so let's create um, a loop here. Uh, so we go so four i equals zero i is less than let's say a thousand i plus plus. And then I inspire equals new inspiring, and then quote equals inspire quote. There you go. Then I'll basically create a joke. I have a jokes controller for this store. Back home. Create a new jokes. This is a new jokes app. And then I'll just say, don't need this. Joke title is going to be this bad boy. Content is going to be this. I'll name it the same. Let's do two. Let's see how it works with two. Go into the database. I was able to create one. Oh, well, yes, we'll have to start a new one each time. Yeah, we'll have to have a new one each time. It's okay. We're not creating too many. I just need something in the database. There's another one too. There is a, a faker that we can use. There you go. Fresh, and we should have a few in here. There we go. Cool. So let's uh, truncate this table. Nothing in here. And let's create. Create a couple of thousand, maybe a thousand of inspirational quotes. Give this a moment. Bam, done. I'm done here. Fresh, and we have a, a thousand quotes. Some actually are 
It looks like duplicates. It's okay. We, we have a thousand records though. Let's remove our search. Actually, we can refresh the page. All these quotes, so I'm going gonna, gonna to break everything. So there we go. Let's fix this. Don't need inspires. Fresh. Now, is there any joke? Yeah, we did jokes. Everything's good. Okay. Now, let's go back home. And bam, here's all our really cool jokes. Now we have something to search. So let's do a search for the word easy. Oh, I thought I saw an easy. Rich, I saw rich. Rich. Bam. So look at all these. Not quite a bit, like four pages worth. Two, three. So yeah, not bad. Um, works good. So I think that's good for an hour's worth. What what did we do today? Um, a lot of bouncing around, but mainly we created a home page that shows you a list of jokes, all jokes, not just my jokes that I created. Uh, we created, we added search capability, pagination, we created a new layout for our home page, and uh, we also, um, I guess we added pagination with it. We used Laravel's stock functionality. We didn't really do anything fancy. Everything here is using Laravel stock functionality so far. Um, it's kind of the way I like it right now. And yeah, let me know in the comments if there's anything else specific that you'd like done. Um, next, what we'll probably do is um, add search to the dashboard um, and then maybe thumbs up, thumbs down so you can thumbs these up and then and then maybe and then add additional f sort filters. For example, right now, that's just showing you the latest on top, but searching, maybe it'll maybe you should find give you back the best match for example um, a lot of cool things like that so yeah let me know if there was something else I can work on for you guys um, have a good day